Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do number 13 on the C-Best Elementary Math Practice Test. This is the Elementary Math Practice Test for Teachers in California. It's one of their teacher certification exams for on the elementary school level involving math. It's a good one to review along with uh, a bunch of other different states, but this one here does a good job of introducing some of those core math problems and core math nuts and bolts type of problems. So let's take a look at it. Let's read over number 13. It's going to involve estimating and front-end estimation. All right, number 13. Which of the following is the best estimate for 4,286 times 390? And it gives us these estimated values. Now, the key word here is estimate. And we're going to do that front-end estimation strategy that we did in the last problem I don't want you to actually multiply out 4,286 and 3,390. I want you to uh, I want you to estimate values that are close to this. So we're going to look at we're going to identify the first digit in each one of these numbers, the four, and the the 4,000 and the 300. And we look to the 4,000. We go to the number before it. We say, does that two get rounded up or down? Now, if it's greater than 5, if it's equal to or greater than 5, it would get rounded up and make this 4 or 5,000. But since that 2 is less than 5, this all gets rounded down. So 4,286 is approximately 4,000. And I'll do front-end estimation on 390. I looked at the 3. The 3 is in the hundreds place. I asked myself, does that 9, is that greater than 5? And it is. 9 is greater than 5, so 9 would get rounded up and make this 390, 400. So now we have a new multiplication problem, one that's much more manageable. 4,000 times 400. These are estimated values, so my answer is going to be a rough estimate. When I'm multiplying 4,000 times 400, I can just multiply the first digit in each one of these. 4 times 4 gets 16. And I just count up the zeros that are left over. There's one, oops. There's one, two, three, four, five zeros there. And I just add in those zeros. Now what I have is a new number, 1,600,000. And that would be my approximation, uh, having estimated a 4,286 to 4,000 and 390 to 400. I, again, I use that front-end estimation to save a lot of time to get numbers that are much more easily uh, multiplied together. And then I, I could apply a multiplication strategy and get to the 1,600,000 a little faster. And all this is going to help me get to be the correct answer, 1,600,000 uh, faster and with more accuracy. And that's what you want to do on these problems here. Okay? All right. Good problem to review front end estimation and, multi and a multiplication strategy. I hope you like this video, team. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. The answer is B. Have a great day. Take care.